Hey guys, today we will continue part 2 in the series of the reviews about Asmiros. Today I want to come up with another free Asmiros. Morpheus guy, the first we will evaluate his skill, flip setup. He has more offensive skills than defense with around a 9% kinetic damage with 19% overall damage, and an additional 400 evasion boost at max level and conditions. It is also equivalent to other 3-star admirals. About setting up the squad, Morpheus has a quite special formation, where there are up to 4 positions in the main row, and only 1 position in the rear row, this means that, the position that receives the least damage that is next the flagship position is the main row with 3.75% damage taken per position, they are also the positions where your main damage ships are installed. The two positions that suffered the most damage were the front row with nearly 24% each, followed by the rear row with 11%. So Morpheus has a formation with 5 attack positions and 4 defense positions. It can be said that this is a very strong offensive squad. Regarding enhanced stats, the main row is very strong with 60% increased kinetic weapon damage, much better than other 3 and 4 star admirals, but a pity is that instead of increasing the accuracy index which is so necessary with kinetic weapons, it adds 600 evasion points, so the damage can be reduced quite a bit. Although the defense has a lot of shield stats along with 700 evasion points, it is not strong because it does not increase necessary stats such as HP, armor, and resistance. However, it is suitable for ships with large shields such as Mechanical and Agony Hecate. In general, Morpheus theoretically has a squad that prioritizes attack capabilities with kinetic weapons, defense capabilities are not high, but are suitable for ships with large shields. Okay, let's see in practical examples. Currently I have two very powerful kinetic weapon ships, two Furus with six upgrade chips each. Another thing to note is that the Fury has a skill that deals very strong kinetic damage and cannot be dodged, suitable for the squad does not have the exact stats added, so I will use the destroyer fleet to evaluate Morpheus's actual combat ability, and compare with Elena, one of the most suitable admirals with Fury. We will first evaluate the attack capabilities. I chose the enemies as stealthy scavengers at level 58, with multiple attacks. And the results after each time. On average, Elena will deal 6.14 million damage. With Morpheus. You can trust me on this, brother. With Morpheus, I chose to give him more attacks, because I noticed that the difference between the results of the two battles was quite large. And this is the result. On average, Morpheus will deal 5.96 million damage. Only 3% lower than Elena, however, currently I only optimize with two fully upgraded Fury, so, if I have three similar Fury, Morpheus damage may be greater than Elena's, because Morpheus has five attack positions, Elena only has four attack positions and one of them can only add frigate ships. Okay, now on to defense. Still a level 58 stealthy scavenger, but this time, Elena or Morpheus will take the damage instead of in Dixon's fleet. This is the result. Elena suffered an average of 1.48 million damage. Morpheus takes an average of 1.54 million damage. Morpheus took about 4% more damage than Elena. Hmm, this is really insignificant. Okay, we can roughly conclude that. Morpheus has an attack-oriented squad, with kinetic weapons and low defense. Damage and resistance are similar to Elena's. About the usage of Morpheus. Because the formation only adds mainly kinetic weapon damage, Morpheus can use two very strong formations, which are the cruiser formation with the main damage being Athena, the support ships are Zada and Max Dreadnought. Or a destroyer squad with the main damage being Fury, support ships with Hunter, Thaw, Mechanical, arrangements as shown. 
Thaw is quite weak, so he should stand in the main row, in the same row as Fury Zealous. For both of the above fleets, Athena and Fury both need to be equipped with maximum accuracy increasing equipment, because without additional accuracy stats from the squad, damage from kinetic weapons will be easy to avoid. Okay, that's all I know about Morpheus. If you have any another information about him, leave it in the comment. I was happy to receive those first one. Just come here to us. Bye and see you again. Remember to like and subscribe.